So what's going on? It's August 17th. It's Wednesday, three days before the Iceman's birthday. We're on the Jeffrey Rose Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. And yeah, Michelle McCool had a photo put up on Instagram. I believe it was of Shane and The Undertaker. What does this mean? Does this mean possibly The Undertaker may be going to the blue brand? Maybe to get um, <clears throat> the situation set up for uh, his 2017 WrestleMania match? Hmm, one has to wonder. Should be pretty interesting. Also on SmackDown last night, um, Cena sort of ended the show taking out AJ Styles after AJ decided to go after Cena after Cena decided uh, and defeated Alberto Del Rio. Uh, AJ decided to come out and tell him, you know, you claim that the face of the place has to be beaten. And uh, AJ was saying that he was going to be the new face of the place and whatnot and pretty much took down John Cena. But John Cena turned the tables on AJ and finally ended up, I believe, throwing him through an, an ounce table. And uh, the show pretty much went off the air. Uh, when AJ did come out and attack Cena, uh, it was to a big round of boos. So, uh, yeah. So Cena getting the upper hand on AJ. And, uh, of course, all the John Cena fans out there are hoping that Cena ends up defeating AJ at SummerSlam. Me being a big Cena fan knows all too well how the WWE works. Uh, pretty much when um, you get the upper hand going into a pay-per-view, you usually end up losing it. John Cena is not a big winner at SummerSlam, anyhow. Um, I do see AJ defeating John Cena one way or another. Cena does not need this win over AJ. Cena has nothing to prove. Cena, uh, Cena has proved what he needs to prove throughout the number of years, and he has taken down AJ cleanly at times. Um, you know, maybe not in a one-on-one -on -one match, but uh, in various other matches. And AJ always seems to... Uh, win dirty handedly but AJ being a newcomer to the WWE this would be a bigger win for AJ uh, than it would be for John Cena over AJ so anyway uh, Heath Slater and Randy Orton last night was funny as well um, Heath Slater WWE giving him a little bit of a push which I sort of like he, Heath Slater is pretty funny and uh, uh, he ended up winning by DQ over Orton uh, but um, anyhow you know this this gives fans something good to talk about if you're a Heath Slater fan. So, uh, anyway, uh, SummerSlam this Sunday. Uh, I think for the most part the matches are predictable. But anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, in other wrestling news, Billy Corgan, president of TNA, has stated that he has some major changes for TNA wrestling. Uh, probably won't start until the first part of next year. Uh, I think plans are pretty well set in stone right now for TNA through Bound for Glory, which might be uh, the last new event for TNA. Uh, they usually have, um, or they go dark uh, towards the end of the year, uh, Bound for Glory being in early October. So we'll wait and see what happens there. So, uh, with all that being said, that's about it. Uh, I'm looking forward to SummerSlam. Uh, the matches that I'm interested in, obviously, is Cena and AJ. Uh, Sasha and Charlotte, of course. Uh, the Universal title. Uh, Rollins and Finn Balor. A lot of people are saying that Finn Balor is going to get the first Universal title. This would be a huge way to really propel his career in the WWE. But will they do that um, to Seth Rollins? I think, in my eyes, uh, Balor could get the belt somewhere down the road. But I think, in my opinion, even though we've seen Seth Rollins on top for quite a long time uh, prior to his injury, um, I think Rollins should get that belt first. But that's my opinion. As far as Ambrose and Ziggler goes, I think it's a no-brainer that Ambrose should retain the title. But... I do believe there's somewhere uh, throughout SummerSlam there's going to be some uh, swerves 
and Ambrose could be one of them. We could see Dolph Ziggler get that title from Ambrose. I'm hoping not, but we very well could see that. So, with all that being said, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, everybody. This is the Iceman. Peace out, everybody.